Alright, so the next um, learning module is titled Die on the Work Plane. This project is all about the work plane and how to make it work for you. Alright, so die on the work plane. Die means the dice, right? You know, the gaming type of dice, right? So now we're going to see how to use the work plane. The die is almost done. We're starting with the die that is almost done. You simply need to add the 5 and 6. Go ahead and use your mouse or the view cube and look around the die. I'm going to use a view cube. You see there's 4, 2, 3, 1, right? But where's the 5 and the 6? The 5 and the 6 sides are missing. Now move the work plane to the front of the die. Let's go ahead and put one of the empty faces in the front. Just like this. Now you see this work plane icon right here? We're actually going to drag out another work plane. Now you see here that it says work plane, right? But we can actually drag out another one. So let's go ahead and do that. Left mouse click, drag. You see this little plane up here? I know it's kind of hard to see, like right here. You see it, right? that little plane. So if you move it up, it'll actually angle itself according to what surface you're putting it on. So we want it to be put on this front surface. Release. Now you see actually another plane. So right now you're right now remember you're seeing it in three dimensional. So you can actually see two planes at one time. A plane is defined as a surface that has no boundaries and is in it is infinitely thin infinite boundaries, no boundaries at all, and it it acts like as a surface, like an unending tabletop, if you want to think it like this, if you want to think it like that way. But for purposes of simplicity, the designers of Tinkercad just wanted to make it look like a square, just so that it doesn't look like your entire screen is covered with orange. Okay, so continue to the next step. Now, how is this useful? This is useful because you can actually drag numbers on top of it and make them look as if they are on the die itself. Now, rem now you see here that we need to put a 5 right here, right? But if you move over, it, if you think about it, you would have a very hard time putting that 5 onto the face of the die if you didn't have this work plane. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go on ahead and go to Tinkercad Basic Shapes, scroll down to Numbers. need a 5, take the 5, drag it out, put it on the work plane. You see how it does? I'm gonna, just going to use my arrow keys to move it around a bit. You see? Now we have a 5 on the work plane. But it's aligned to this orange highlighted work plane. Let's go on ahead and move to the next step. Scale the 5 smaller. Because the 5 is sitting in front of the die, we need to make some adjustments. Let's scale the thickness of it down to 1 millimeter, So it matches the other one. Click it. Right here, you see this is 9.20 millimeters. We want to make this 1. Alright, so we made it 1. Right? It's sitting pretty flush with the surface. This is what we want. Continue to the next step. Repeat the previous steps to add a 6 at the top of the die. Now this is going to get kind of confusing for those of you who do not are, are not used to thinking in 3 dimensions. But we're going to drag another work plane. So now what we have is... Two, what, what now we're going to have is two parallel work planes and one perpendicular work plane. So right now you see another work plane. We're going to drag over a 6 like we did before. Drag it on over to the top. Drop it. Scale the thickness down. Thickness right now is looking to be around 4 millimeters. Let's scale this down to 3. Sorry, 1. All right, so we scaled it down. Oh, and workplace uh, shortcut is W, so I press W. I have a workplace right here. See? 
And you can always get rid of your workplace by just pressing work plane again right here to get rid of it. Actually, no, that didn't get rid of it. Okay, just press Control Z. Uh, Control Z next step. Sorry, continue to next step. And we already added a number six, so I guess we're uh, <laughs> kind of ahead of the game, right? We already made this six uh, shorter. Let's reset the workspace back to its original location. Now, how to do this? Tinkercad actually makes it really easy for you. W for workspace, or go over here and select workspace, and just drop this workspace onto any empty area, like right there. And you return directly back to your original. You see? There's no more, any more confusing planes all over the place. Now we just need to group all the shapes together. Now, left mouse click, drag, group. Perfect. We now have a die. We gotta go play some Monopoly with this one. Looks pretty classy. Alright. Good job. 